Hello, Hello Oakton. Oakton. I'm Kayla. And I'm Autumn. Welcome back to another episode of Oakton On Air. We hope you're having a great week. We have another exciting episode for you all today. First up is breaking news. There's still time to sign up for Oakton's talent show. If you have any talents that you'd like to perform for the school, go to Schoology to sign up for an audition. February 7th through February 11th is National School Counseling Week. Consider reaching out to your counselor to share some kind words of appreciation. Congratulations to Oakton's Scholastic Bowl team, who competed in the Northern Region Tournaments on Saturday, February 5th. Lastly, the empty trailers will start being removed from Cougar Town. For students with classes outside, be on the lookout for a new walking path. Let's find out what happened this week in sports. Here's what's happening next week in sports. This week, the boys and girls basketball teams are competing in district playoffs. The boys swim and dive team will also be competing in states. We will also have wrestlers competing in the regional tournament this weekend. Our next segment is People of Oakton, where we will spotlight a different member of our staff to find out more about them. This week, we're meeting Ms. Jelinas to learn more about teaching theater and putting on school productions. Hi, I'm interviewing Ms. G, the drama and tech theater teacher here at Oakton. So, when did you start teaching at Oakton, and what has been your involvement in the school? I started teaching part-time in 2002, and then when Mr. Bromley, who this theater is named after, retired, I took over full time. So I've been in the school for uh, 19 years. And my involvement is, um, <laughs> well, I basically run the theater, I kind of run who gets to be in here when, which is nice. Um, I'm the theater director and work with uh, the choral department also on the musical. What's your favorite part about teaching theater? Directing the shows <laughs> and working on that level. And of course, my students, but um, I like the directing of the shows more, the actual, grading of papers and all that is not interesting to me. <laughs> and last question, um, why do you think it's important for teens to take a theater class? I think everybody should take a theater class at least once in their life because it takes you out of your comfort zone. Um, it gives you the opportunity to work on your public speaking, your confidence. Um, these are things that you have throughout life, right? You're going to have a job where you're going to have to probably present, present something to a client mm -hmm. or to your boss. You're going to go on dates where you're going to have to have a conversation with somebody and look them in the eye. So I think it's, um, you know, just an opportunity to practice those skills and get more comfortable with those skills, whether or not you ever perform on a stage. Mm -hmm. okay. Life is a stage. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you so much. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. Next, in honor of Black History Month, we have an interview from the Black Student Union. What's your favorite part of this club? I love that everybody has something re to relate to. Like, there's always like negatives, like, oh yes, I've faced like ignorant things that have been said to me. But there's also like, yes, there's stuff that I do at home that you do at home as well. So there's something that we can always relate to in the club and it's not just like, oh yeah, I've never experienced that, experienced that before. What does Black History Month mean to you? Um, black History Month, for me, is a time to um, celebrate black joy and black accomplishments because I feel like a lot of the time in the news we just hear a lot of like bad things happening to the black people, but like this month is something we could call our own to talk about all the good and like the joy that we all have together. Um, to, be, to me, Black History Month is a time for uplifting and recognizing all the influence and all the impact that we as black people in this culture have made. And I just love seeing so many people be so proud of who they are. And Black History Month is truly a time of celebration for me. Now it's time to meet the Magicians Club. All right, I'm Sean. I, start, I helped start the Magicians Club at Oakton. We're in room 1607, and we're going to be part of the talent show on March 29th, which is going to be awesome. You guys should definitely come to one of our meetings on Tuesdays from 3 to 3.45. Tell me when to stop. Stop. All right. Her card's a nine of clubs. Now we'll take the nine of clubs, just lose them in the middle of the deck. We'll even give it a few cuts and a shuffle. So now her nine of clubs is lost somewhere in the middle of the deck. I can find her nine of clubs using fate. Wow. 
So we have you have a deck of cards here. I don't know if you can see this. It says follow your dreams on the back. Very inspirational, right? I just want you to pick a card, so just say stop anywhere you'd like. Stop. Right here. Okay, look at that card. Don't tell me you can show the camera. You can show everyone else. So here's here's what's gonna happen. I'm just gonna scrap the cards, just stick your card in wherever you'd like. Alright, there we go. So I'm not gonna do anything. I'm just gonna show you that all the cards say follow your dreams on the back, right? All I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna show you the top card. The seven of spades, right? I want you to hold out your hands like a table. I'm gonna put the seven of spades right here, and I just want you here. I, actually, I can take this now. And I just want you to make a hand sandwich. Sandwich that card up. Perfect. Okay, so now what we're gonna do, we, we mentioned that all the cards say follow your dreams on the back, right? But what if I told you we can change that? But not to anything, to your specific card. Like if you chose the seven of spades, we can change it to seven of spades. That'd be pretty cool, right? Yeah. But you didn't choose the seven of spades, right? What card did you choose? The queen of hearts. All right, you chose the queen of hearts. So what's gonna happen is, when I snap, you're gonna lift up your right hand, and it's gonna say queen of hearts instead of follow your dreams. That'd be pretty crazy, right? Mm -hmm. Check this out. Queen of hearts, queen of hearts. And now you just stuck the queen of hearts in the middle of the deck, right? Check this out. Flip that card over. The queen of hearts. Wow. And that's all for this week's episode. See you next week.